Let's talk about vegan dog food. Welcome. It is so great to spend some time with you again today. Let's get started. Here we go. <laughs> A big, hot, wonderful summer day coming at you from Canada. We're at 29 today. I will take every degree of that. I love it. Now it's a little bit um, windy here today and there's a little bit of traffic. I'm going to push through and uh, hope that the audio sounds okay. Uh, See, Lola, she wants to tell you about uh, vegan dog food too. <laughs> Come here. I want to start with the obvious. Uh, I am not a veterinarian uh, <laughs> uh, and I'm not an expert in nutrition for animals. But what I am is I, an owner of animals that cares about what I feed them. In the same way I care about what I eat, I care about what they eat. And for me, that only makes sense. Because they can't uh, open the fridge and make their own meals. They're, they're kind of like children in that way. They can't... Uh, we, like, we're responsible for what, what they consume. Um, they're at our mercy. And I think it's our our responsibility to to check into that to feed them the best that we can afford and the best way that we have <laughs> what do you think <laughs> all three of my pets are rescue animals uh, both of my dogs I didn't get as puppies I got them they were older people don't want them my my uh, little white dog Lucy she was six years old when I rescued her and Lola, my long-haired German Shepherd, she was a year old. The cat showed up on my front door, literally, uh, about two months before Christmas and it was uh, just a, a litter that was dumped in the community where I live. For me, my, my dogs and cat are, are like family. Uh, they bring a lot into my life. I care about them deeply. I don't want to harm them. I want to feed them the very best that I can, that I can afford, and even what I have time to do. You see, I have found that there are three main issues to uh, vegan dog food or feeding your dogs a homemade dog food. One is obviously time. Now time is I mean, that's obvious. You either think you have it or, or you don't. It's a legitimate concern. Uh, I can only say when you get into a routine of doing it and you figure out one that works, it is just something that's added to your week and you, you do it. You feel better about it uh, when you're feeding them this way, but you know, I understand if you feel time is going to be an issue. Uh, I know, um, besides my, my recipe for dog food, I know High Carb Hannah. She has one she does in the Instapot, which is really quick. So you can always look that one up and do that if you're really, really concerned about time. Then the second issue is fear. And I'm talking about the fear of I'm not going to get it right. I'm going to um, harm my, my pets. I, I'm going to not give them all the nutrition they need. 
to that I'm going to say you need to research. I've done research that has brought me to a place where I feel comfortable now with how I feed my dogs and my cat. You have to do that for yourself. I can't, I could give you all kinds of links or tell you go here and go there. I'm not going to do that. I think it's really important that you look into it yourself and you get comfortable your, with how you feel. Um, if it's a good decision for you or not. If it's not, don't feel guilty about it. It's okay. Really. Uh, I think we put too much pressure on ourselves as far as uh, some of these things are concerned. What you're going to do is the very best you can and leave it at that. Even if, again, going back to the time as one of the issues, you make your food and you can only maybe feed them one meal a day and then the other one is maybe a canned food. Well then that's how you're going to do it. That's fine. Okay, back to fear. When you research it, you're, you're, say you feel there's an in ingredient, I don't know if this is going to, is harmful for my pet or not, Google it. It'll, it comes up. It, it's amazing. You just say, you know, our dogs, can dogs eat uh, garlic, right? It's going to tell you. And you get a list going. I mean, we know the obvious things, you know, obviously chocolate. Everybody pretty much knows that. If you're really concerned, you can get a vitamin and mineral sub. sub <laughs> if you're really concerned, you can get a vitamin and mineral supplement from your vet. You can also buy uh, taurine is available to put into their food. Uh, dogs need a lot more fat in their in their diet than we do. You have to take that into consideration. As far as cats go, I do not feed, my cat is not a vegan cat. They are totally different. <laughs> Lola, come. <laughs> Lola. Sorry. Come here. Come here. Come here, poop head. What are you doing? Um, so my cat is not vegan. Uh, the, the dogs um, don't just survive, they thrive. They thrive on, the, on a vegan diet. Cats are very different. You can uh, look into that yourself about cats. And, and, and of course, the, my cat can come into my backyard. She will hunt, she will get a mouse. Uh, I can't control that with her. She's a cat and they need meat. Although I did see a video um, quite a while back by Happy Healthy Vegans and um, uh, they made a cat food and I, um, I haven't tried it with my cat so you could always look that up and look into that. That's what, what they do with their cats. So um, maybe that's an option. But, but for me, at this point in time, my, my cat is not, uh, not a vegan cat. The dogs for, uh, do thrive. They thrive, not just survive, they, they thrive. But I will, um, I will let you know that in the beginning, when I first started with Lola, my, my bigger dog, on, the, on a vegan diet, there was a little more weight loss than I anticipated would happen. But what I did was I just adjusted. I adjusted the fat. I didn't have it quite right. And um, then it, it just, boom. After a couple of weeks, she was right back on track again. You might find that you will have to play play with it a little bit because of your dog's specific needs. Uh, I also know that some dogs absolutely require taurine. Uh, in that, I found out in my research. I can tell you the breeds of dogs, but I, again, I really would prefer that you look into it yourself. If you are going to feed your dog vegan, 
you need to not take anybody else's word for it, but look into it for yourself. And some of you may even feel like I'm, I'm going to talk to my vet about this and absolutely do that. Then um, I'm on to the third thing because I told you there were three. So we did the, the time and the fear. And the third thing that people have an issue about is abuse. It's considered uh, abuse. Uh, to that, <laughs> I say, uh, obviously, I love my dogs. And sorry, it's just a little windy. I'm not sure if the audio is picking that up. Let's just wait a second. <laughs> I'll look at my notes while we wait. Uh, yes, the third point, abuse. If you, if you feel that I'm abusing my pets by feeding them vegan, then I, I guess obviously you shouldn't be watching this video, or you should be because you're so concerned and you need to comment about it and set me on the right track. <laughs> uh, I respect your opinion on that. Uh, everybody has their own, own journey in, in areas that have to do with the vegan lifestyle. I have incorporated it to include my my uh, dogs. I love them dearly. I've done the research. I've been responsible. And this is what I'm choosing to do for them right now. I have never felt comfortable with what the dog food industry supplies for our pets. It has always concerned me. I'm not going to get into right now all of the, the issues with it. There is, however, um, a really good documentary right now on Netflix called Pet Fooled. A uh, good one to, to watch to educate yourself about the dog food or pet food industry. Uh, one thing I learned from that was when like, it's better to choose wet food over dried. Uh, it's less processed and makes sense to me. So even even now, so I make their food all the time. And sometimes, if I'm if I've run out or I'm feeling lazy, I will I will have um, you know the best quality wet food that I can afford. I will have a little stash of that for an emergency or just to help supplement their diet. Because even I feel sometimes that. A uh, little insecure about if I'm meeting all their needs. And I think that we just want to do the very best we can for ourselves, for our pets, uh, for our families. Uh, because these are things that we care about in our lives. These are people we care about. They're animals we care about friends that we care about and that's not a a bad thing that's a that's a that's a good thing it's an honorable thing and I and I encourage you to uh, look into it uh, do what is comfortable for you I uh, think that's that's everything I, I can talk to you about today about it uh, thank you for for joining me. If you so, I want to thank you for joining me today. I really hope I helped, um, and even more so, I hope I've encouraged you to look into it or give some. Uh, someone's recipe a try, if not mine, then somebody else's. Research 
um, don't be you know too worried about getting it wrong you, you'll work it out it's gonna be okay uh, don't worry about big truck going by <laughs> Don't worry about the naysayers or haters or people that are going to have strong feelings saying you're abusing your pet because the intention is not to do that, obviously. And uh, subscribe if you wish, uh, if you want to keep seeing this, this mug then subscribe and uh, apparently I you're to hit the notification bell or else uh, it's, it's a new thing YouTube has uh, put in place over the last few months or else it, they don't let you know a new video has come out I'll see you in my next video making the dog food take care and go out and bring some joy to the world. See you later.